Let me start off by saying that if you think preying on cancer patients is funny, you deserve a one-way ticket to Malibulge. In case you haven't yet heard, Rostalan TV, a stage four cancer patient, was live streaming yesterday to raise funds for their treatment when someone joined their live and offered to donate if they tested out a video game they had built. Unfortunately, Rostalan agreed and downloaded the game to try, only to infect their system with malware. The entire live then got to watch in horror as some evil nincompoop of a threat actor drained them of $32,000 USD. The cybersecurity community on X, Twitter, quickly heard about it, and today, a bunch of them decided to band together to dig into the malicious Steam game that enabled the attack. Thank you VX Underground for highlighting the incident and triggering the investigation. Within 30 minutes, the team identified a bat file within the Steam game that contained a crypto wallet drainer. They also locate the attacker's telegram credentials within the code, in plain text, I might add and pulled the attacker's entire infrastructure and previous victim logs. It looks like the attackers hired someone to build the game for them, hid generic malware inside it, then uploaded the game to Steam to prey on unsuspecting victims. And yes, it does seem the attackers spent Rostalan's cancer treatment funds at a club last night. Luckily, not everyone in the world is evil, and the master chief of crypto, Alex Becker, has made a $30,000 donation to Rostaland for them to be able to continue their treatments. Who needs a knight in shining armor when you can have an entire band of nerds come to your rescue? The game, Blockbuster, has also been removed from stream. OSINT nerds identified the evil nincompoop attacker as an Argentinian living in Miami, Florida on a visa and have reported him to ICE. While I may not agree with that agency, welp, don't fuck with cancer patients. A police report has been filed and other victims are being notified.